Speaking of other levels of government, it follows opposition leader Peter Dutton's backing of a $500 million sporting infrastructure fund for grassroots sports if the coalition are successful at the next federal election. Our announcement is $250 million that we believe uh, can help local clubs, uh, like the one that I'm at now, where girls are getting changed in the car park, uh, they don't have shower facilities, adequate uh, toilets, etc. And we think the state and territory governments could match that, and also we're asking that a contribution of 20% be made from the clubs as well. And even the national broadsheet, The Australian, are getting in on the action. Nation's destiny written in the stars. Try the suburbs and the bush is the headline on The Australian tomorrow because Matilda's coach, Tony Gustafson, says, talks about his team's story being written in the stars. When you look at what's written on their birth certificates, you can see that their journeys began at places far less glittering and the humbleness of home. Meanwhile, over to the Sydney Morning Herald, history for the taking. There is a beautiful illustration there by John Shakespeare. Basically, this is the next generation's Cathy Freeman moment. Michelle, it just gives you tingles, doesn't it, just seeing some of these front pages and all of yeah. Australia's media just coming together for this incredible night that we're going to see tomorrow night. I don't even care that people <laughs> aren't going to watch the front page tomorrow night because we've got to get behind the I know. Early. Well, I have to say I'm very lucky. I'm one of the lucky ones. I've got tickets. I'm going to be at the match. So I'm super excited. I'm going with my husband and my 10-year-old son. We actually bought tickets last year to a lot of the FIFA World Cup games. And we're very fortunate. We took yeah. tickets for the semifinals. And we're just lucky that the Tillies are going to be there. But just touching on what um, the, the whole rhetoric around the public holiday, I do kind of agree with Peter Dutton and Malinescus. They do make this point. Firstly, yeah. it's a lot of pressure that we put on our girls and our sports stars. We saw them, yes. like Saturday's match, the penalty shootout. It was intense. And there's a lot of pressure that we put on them. Mm. But this whole idea of a public holiday, yes, I do think they should be celebrated, but we do need to put funding mm. where it's needed most and we do need to invest in more and better facilities, particularly in the bush. So I do agree with Dutton on that. Mm, yeah, indeed. Tanvir, over to you. You've got little ones. Are your girls and, and, and young ones interested in sport? And if they weren't before, are they now? Well, absolutely. I was rushing around trying to find jerseys. A lot of sc schools around the country are having jersey days tomorrow and it was an absolute Yay. rampage. It was a stampede <laughs> at some of these sports stores. I had to get mine from Lowe's, a fake fake one, but it'll do. And there's Sam Kerr mask. I've just texted a photo of tomorrow's paper to my girl. So it's absolute excitement. Look, soccer's always, soccer's always had the most potential to unite the country, whether it's the multicultural side... Mm -hmm. And I think adding, mm -hmm. being a female soccer now, I think it adds another dimension. There's all these people who did, do not give one iota about sport usually. And everyone's on the bandwagon yeah. uh, for this one. And I do, can I just say as well, what was really yeah. interesting was uh, a friend of mine, a male friend, he went to buy a jersey and he goes, but they only come in female sizing and that they're made for female bodies. <laughs> I'm like, well, welcome to being a female and every time we want to buy a jersey for a male yeah. sporting team. <laughs> they're not fitted properly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Look, it's, it's all fun and games and we'll have the result for you tomorrow night regardless. But I just think it's a great initiative that uh, the News Corp Mastheads have taken tomorrow. You can, of course, Perfect. buy all of those Metro Mastheads and grab a Sam Kerr poster tomorrow. Long live the newspaper.